I got a better today. So let's make a good home for him. The tank in the back. That is less than one gallon cause they live in puddle. Substrate. Looks beautiful. Don't forget the slope. Wood. Good for better. But the tank in the back looks so good. Why not just bed cause they love to sleep? Oops, sorry. I dropped his bed. Heater for heating. Pretty they require 75 F to 80 F. I have a feeling this is a it's troll. To fill up the tank. Make sure it's water. Pro tip, go <laughs> drink it first. It's vodka. What was that? That was actually vodka. Tip acclimation. Damn, five out of five. I won't tell you what's right for them, but my comment section will. Nice. Yes. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. That's what you thought, Millie? So. They got us in the first half? Yeah, I saw that beautiful fish tank in the background, and I was like, ain't no way, pal. It was kind of given away when they made the bed, and then you put in the heater. That's just troll, bro. We just got Rick rolled. Honestly, that's a good slope right there. The wood, on point, just a safety hazard. For the heater to be that out of the water, it's going to just combust. You're standing right on my broken collarbone. Excuse you. So don't do that. Like, not even as a joke, because it won't be a joke at that point. Someone gonna get electrocuted. That's a five out of five like beyond five out of five tank look at the land feature amazing not overstocked this is a great way to use only like 25 percent of the real estate of your tank but still get a five out of five the fish they used are perfectly suited for that amount of water it's just so natural i honestly need to do one of these myself one of these days man it's gonna happen and i wonder what kind of animals you can put on top of there maybe vampire crabs if it's a bigger tank maybe a musk turtle can you imagine that kind of tank goes hard bro the more i'm talking about it the more hyped i feel about creating something like this five out of five beta enclosure there i said it real fish tanks are for chumps fishbowl master race fish tank review strained my back for this shot beautiful glorious shot highlighting the beautiful dorsal stripe on these cpds Nuts. Sometimes it do be like that. I had to go through some weird positioning to get some of these shots, especially on my DSLR, because it doesn't have like a flip out camera. Like, is it even in focus? Photographers are heroes of this hobby. Beautiful. Look at the bokeh. Dreamy Elodia bokeh. Fish guy Dave sent in this fish tank right away. Bro, you got some dirt on your Anubius. <laughs> get some shrimp, get some Otosynclus, clean that up, bro. It's not healthy for the Anubius, but we do see some new leaves and flowering action. So don't throw them away. Don't throw them away like I did. Long story short, I threw away my boss's 10 year old Anubius clump. That's not why I quit. I quit because they were selling dogs illegally. <laughs> no cap. I wish I was lying. I was the fish guy there, but I, I realized that I'm sure there's better local fish stores to be working for. Small but sweet tank. And I think if it's not that dirty, it would get like very close to a five out of five for me, but some bad, bad algae up in this joint. The cherry barbs, not my first go-to choice for a tank of this uh, dimension. It's not overstocked, don't get me wrong, but there's always just better choices for your tanks. Bro's asking for scritches. You're supposed to be co-host 4.39 out of 5 get that cleaned up hey guys i just gotta thank my patrons for making this video possible if you enjoy my content please support via patreon a couple bucks goes a long way and you get perks in return such as joining our fish keeping discord where you can become a co2 booster and join the cory gang win cool titles like fish keeper of the month and shrimp tastic submit your beautiful fish tanks you can even meet our awesome mods like banu the birdman and ben the fun guy. Some of our other members include Keanu Reeves, Andrew Garfield, Hugh Jackman, and Vegeta. So come on in, the water is warm, and let's measure our Valisneria together and find out what's considered average these days. This tank sent in by Sipa Jahava. Sounds like an exotic drink. I could use an exotic drink right now. I think it's a solo bed of fish tank. The lighting is so moody that I can't make out what is just shadow and what is leaf litter and what is oko stone. The lighting definitely takes it to a whole nother level. It highlights the narrow leaf Java fern beautiful colors on that short fin beta love the composition of this it's artistic it's an unofficial 4.5 out of 5 because i don't see the edges of the tank me if growing algae was an olympic sport <laughs> all the medals if i had a dime for every time algae grew in my tank dang that's a sick rhyme i would be able to find dine every day and i'd have restaurants of mine because i made so much money zesty bep sent in their planted cichlid tank tamago why can't i plant your tank i dead ass caught tamago 
Mago just shoving floating plants into her gullet. I wasn't looking. She thought I went into my room, but I came right out and I caught her and she was like, oh. Salvinia and water lettuce up in her throat and she spat it out right away and came to see me. I think she's doing it right now. These guys are still little. You got little Oscars, little, what is that? Uh, I'm not good with big cichlids, okay? Is that a convict? Orange, yellow bristle nose in the bottom. I mean, sure, you can keep them like this right now, but when they get bigger, it's gonna be a problem. They're going to go after your plants. However, for now, I'm proud of you, man. 4.3 out of 5. This is a beautiful big tank, and this is gonna be perfect for all these big fish. A couple of weeks ago, I found two snails in my son's guppy tank. Holy crap, you found a shiny ram's horn. You went shiny hunting like in Pokemon, and you found it, bro. You were opening booster packs and you found a hollow magmar magmordar ma slugma damn am i losing my pokemon knowledge that is looking crazy by the way beautiful shot i didn't know we were in the midst of a professional macro photographer right here i've never seen the skin is literally gold with sparkles this is edward cullen of snails what kind of snail is this this guy gonna make a million bucks selling these <laughs> please breed them sir bless our hobby now yep Leave it up to loaches. That is a uh, skimmer intake. The loaches loving it. What can I say? If you didn't know, and I also didn't know this until I reviewed it, loaches are devious. Loaches are mischievous like that. If I see this on any other fish, I would assume, okay, it freaking died. I don't know why it died, but it died. And it's being sucked in relentlessly by the flow, by the intake. With a loach, it's like, Oh, you're just playing. Don't worry about him. He'll bounce back from this. Just taking a little break. Actually, just having a little fun. No lines, no fast pass needed. Permanent fun at Disneyland. It's always your turn. These noodles. Noodles gone wild. Loaches, man. What the hell goes in their mind? I saw this other loach on YouTube the other day. It just comes out of the water and it just chills there. It prefers that. It likes it. I mean, my coolie loach has never done this. Speaking of loaches and coolie loaches, here's another video of this coolie loach loving the hand. Again, I've never had my coolie loaches do this. To be fair, I've never tried, but this coolie loach freaking loves it. Oh, got scared off though. What is with loaches, bro? Five out of five noodle. Noodle trend keeps on trending because we got a rope fish here. One of the most beautiful rope fish I've ever seen, by the way, when they get fed very well and get good uh, husbandry. And is that the whole rope fish? Because it goes all the way back into the decor. I didn't know they were that long. That's a, that's a snake at that point. That ain't no fish, that's a snake. Look at the fins, so beautiful. Look at the texture of the skin. This is very cute. It's reminding me of like a sand boa. Five out of five noodles all around, baby. Wow, oh My bestest boys just chilling together as they always do. Blue is Titan and red is Jack. Get a bird, they said. <laughs> There's feathers everywhere, my G. This one landed in my aquarium co-op mug. <laughs> Kelpie Rider sent in their shrimp tank. It's uh, it's about to have 18 snowball shrimp. Right now it's got some other neocaridinas, but I think they're gonna be replaced soon. That looks photoshopped. You know what? This kind of looks AI generated. I don't know what's going on here, man. I tried zooming in on that and that doesn't help. Zooming in on it actually makes it worse. What are you doing? A 3.5 out of five for now. I want some for my fish tank. I'm supposed to be writing, but instead I'm researching the star-shaped sand of Okinawa, which are actually skeletons of marine life from 550 million years ago? Are you telling me the whole beach, the sand that makes up that beach is all of this? And I totally get you with like, I'm supposed to be doing work, but instead I'm doing this. Cause this morning I was supposed to be filming FTR and I was up and researching this Brazilian uh, UFO sighting in 1996, the Var Vargina whatever thing, you're welcome. Rabbit hole for you to go down instead of doing your math homework. All right, dang. My 88 cube garden 60p is looking some kind of way today. I was just taking my time feeding some fish and I caught some feelings. The vibes in here are immaculate. Look at this big ass cherry shrimp. Make me some babies now. Sadly, I had to replace the lily pipes with a hob filter to get a bit more flow into the tank. I will miss the fancy lily pipes. Buse Ketagang popping off, man. Such a beautiful plant. Did not expect to see a black coolie loge in the underbrush. I've seen them maybe three or four times. I try to feed them at the exact same spot so they'll feel more comfortable coming out, hopefully. These toilet papers were probably leftovers from the initial COVID poo-poo Armageddon. Tamago's gotten a bit bigger. She's always trying to take my head off. I keep thinking if I was the size of George Shrinks and I got into the tank by accident, she'd eat me before I could even blink. She is heartless. And I think she's strong enough to move these rocks a bit with her tireless digging. She completely changed the landscape I set. I guess it is her home, not mine. I made a little safeguard for the pothos so they can actually grow without being eaten. But Tamago still got some good bites 
in. What the hell? There's also a few guppies in there. My shrimp guy accidentally scooped me some guppies as well as the shrimp. They've been able to survive Tamago for now, but I guess uh, extra protein if an accident happens. River stream tank is coming along. I never see Spermy the Hillstream Loach out. I'm planning to get him a couple friends. The plants are making a steady comeback. I want the crypts to become dense in here. Some people pointed out that this wasn't a very faithful rendition of a river stream biome. And I've said a few times, it's only river stream inspired. I've taken some creative liberties with it. So far, it's one of my favorite scapes. As I finish up my fish tank top ups, I notice that a shrimp has somehow gotten into the hop filter crazy little guys it's technically not a meme but i don't know where to post it holy crap that is chonky mcchonkster they got friends up in here too how did you get them so chonky man that can't be healthy for them you're really not trying to host today are you, you just watch summer d you're getting an f today zero out of five host my snail has a face looking like sonic the hedgehog ate too much looks like a limpet actually what kind of snail has those spikes i guess a horned nerite but a horned nerite doesn't have that many spikes what is this snail bro got a face id this guy imagine if you like Use this snail's face to unlock your iPhone and it actually works. Apple thinks you look like the snail. <laughs> Saw this at a Chinese buffet. Ooh, that's a lot of turtles for not a lot of space. But, you know, I think I'm not just speaking for myself when I say we've all seen much worse than this, unfortunately. This is really bad. Like, there's not enough depth in the water, but at least they have like a sun bathing area kind of that can't fit all of them but i think there's like a telltale sign of a filtration system there's a very small effort to escape this thing poor fish didn't last a day hmm i wonder why that's a lot of casualties notice how there's oh wow there's six likes on this you monsters i swear if i see a watch out the fish police are coming i'm gonna go full karen on their ass i don't even care and to post it like it's not your fault what fish is that why that looks like the tilapia from animal crossing beautiful anubius they got other smaller fish in there why did they feel the need Maybe it was a rescue. They had no other place to put it. Guys, welcome to the end of the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And hopefully, Millie and I, really it was just I, made your Monday go just a little better. Before I let you guys go, we got a question of the week. Katwa. Millie, you gotta be here for Katwa. What is your substrate of choice when you're aquascaping? Right now, for me, it's gotta still be aqua soil, man. Either that or I put some organic potting mix in and cap it. All right, if you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come. And don't forget to get your hands wet. Catch your touch. Tetra, we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal at, carry my fin rod from Carisiformes to Parachirodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence. Gang.